My name is Ratsity, his name is Rito, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, or rather, welcome to Darkest Dungeons, The Butcher's Circus. It is the PvP DLC we know you've all been waiting for, as have we. How's it going, bud? I'm ready. I'm excited. It's going good. Mm -hmm. I'm, re I'm ready to uh, PvP you. You're ready to player versus player? I'm ready to play player. <laughs> Ooh, all right, all right, player, let's play. So yeah. if you are not familiar with Darkest Dungeon, I will give you a little bit of a tooltip kind of thing. Uh, it is a turn-based strategy game. It is a roguelike, typically. We're going to be playing it in the D, uh, the DLC's PvP fashion. But there will be links in the description down below to where you can find the previous series that each of us have done on Darkest Dungeon that explain a little more slowly the mechanics and tutorializations of the game yeah absolutely you've uh so you've got like a lot more experience in the base game than me but luckily i think that it's pretty there's been like a lot of balance changes apparently to make it pvp mm -hmm. friendly so maybe we're on oh, equal yeah. footing in a way kind of definitely definitely the abilities of the characters have changed kind of significantly like, I wouldn't know. There are certain effects previously that were called stuns that are now dazes. There are, you know, different percentages on the different abilities, uh, different, just straight up numbers, whole different sets of trinkets as well. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to be aware of all of those changes going in here myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can pick out your party. The, it doesn't matter. There's, there's no quote unquote permadeath because you get to change your party every time. It's like a Pokemon stadium kind of a thing. And you get to pick mm -hmm. out your loadout. You get to pick out uh, trinkets from a, a selected pool of them. What even yep. accuracy? Up. I'm just, I'm just quickly hovering over the trinkets that uh, that are on the character as I attempt to use them, as well as the abilities as I attempt to use them. We could, uh, we could narrate those. That is true. I'm making you come hither. I'm, uh, I'm pulling, pulling your dang vessel towards me and marking you. Which does How dare you pull my something? dumb vessel towards you and mock me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, vessel In are... response. Don't you do it! You're going to I'm gonna come hither right back at you. <laughs> I did I know I didn't want you to come hither, I wanted her to come hither. No, no, you don't get to choose what you get when you go fishing. Sometimes you get a boot, sometimes you get a grouper. <laughs> I want a vessel. But so I clearly you keep talking to them. I mean I I, can't, I guess I shouldn't give you the keys to my thought process kingdom, but I have a feeling we have the same mentality about targeting right now. Generally. We... Maybe. That you should do it to one? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> For the most part. I can't imagine where you possibly would have gone that <laughs> That's it, yeah. Who knows? Uh, hmm. Hmm... So the f interesting thing is normally it is selected, uh, like, there's a pre-selected order rolled based off of initiative. Mm -hmm. And in this, you can you can select. Also, there is stuns, by the way. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, thought, I didn't know if you thought they were all turned into dazes. No, uh, no, just some of them. Uh, but, yeah, so we get to select the order, but and then we go back and forth. If, if people who are familiar with Darkest Dungeon didn't pick that up. Mm. And there's a timer. Got to think fast. Yes, there is. You got to be a little bit quick on your toes. Which is like pretty opposite from, I think, how you and definitely I took your darkest dungeon turns. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, like, God. my uh, <laughs> my darkest dungeon episodes always went significantly over time. Yeah. I can so, imagine. Uh, enjoy the uh, the recording length of this series. Oh, the Two hour episodes. Let's go. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> if there was no timer, <laughs> if there's no timer, it does sound kind of. It sounds kind of nice in a way. I did the same amount of damage to you whether you were marked or not. <laughs> What's up with that? I thought I'm supposed to do uh, more damage because. Rolls of... on one hit, high rolls yeah, I know. On another, I guess. But Ravs, the dice rolls in my PvP. I know, I'm told, I, I actually kind of dig it. I kind of dig that there's going to be clearly RNG. Uh, mm -hmm. 
because obviously that's going to be the only way we like one of us will lose it will be because of rng of course it's because we are both absolute genius gods at this game absolute genius gods. no one could ever possibly unthrown us absolutely we're climbing to the the tippy tippity top ranks so there is like a solo queue which i am interested in it sounds kind of fun to get like hardcore into it it, it kind of reminds me i used to i used to play like competitive pokemon stuff online quite a like quite a bit mm -hmm. and it kind of reminds me of that in a way like you just <laughs> making your team turn turn based and that's literally it but other than that exactly the same it's this is just pokemon with more gore yeah pokemon the uh, pokemon very rarely features like full-on abominations of an eldritch style transforming into a beast and stressing out both their teammates and enemies as they wail on them in uh, in beastly fashion frankly i think it's worse for it i know honestly just you know game freak get freaky get, get freaky with it get that's freaky what i'm always saying next pokemon rated m oh if the next pokemon isn't rated m i'm boycotting the pokemon franchise as of four generations ago whoa <laughs> boycott in reverse yep <laughs> just to justify when i stopped playing at the uh the ruby series or whatever oh yeah oh that is that is the last one you played they there's some well, there's some I'll, slappers I'll, I'll since then. okay okay there's been some slappers. I have no doubt. I strongly suspect there have been slappers. Whoa! So I think one thing, I don't know if you know, I don't think mm. that bleed can kill in this. Yeah, that's a thing I did not know. <laughs> um, it can bring you down to now zero. Now I'm going to have to find ways to actually uh, murder myself. Sweet. Also, I just realized that I'm kind of glad you cannot see the other players' uh, characters' names. I mean, oh, I'm, can you not? No, it uh, just says, uh, well, it says, right now it says Corpse, Shield Breaker, Jester, Crusader. Mm -hmm. But, oh. Well, I've got, uh, I've got a party along with me, although I can't necessarily check their names at the moment. All of these named after people who were suborning at or above the fourth wall tier on Patron. I always love how you say Patron. It sounds <laughs> yeah, like a, it's, sounds uh, like a name. Ooh. It's it's uh, sorry. I, I meant they're supporting me with Patron. They're giving me Patron <laughs> XO. I'm having yeah. a great time. I'm getting tipsy. Sipping that bubbly. Uh, no, Patron isn't bubbly. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. Patron. Clearly. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't. I don't either. Uh, uh, got him. Yeah. Oh. I don't know why I said yeah. I mean, I'm just happy. I mean, yeah. Released from your your earthly torment. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom from these unwavering shackles of humanity. Yay. About dang time. Death store. So I think every time you get hit at zero health, your death door, your death blow percentage, like the chance that it'll happen goes up, right? Does it? I th it looks I think. like it. It looks like it might have, because it was seventy five percent base by start, and now it's sixty percent base. So I guess yeah, it probably has. All right. So then uh, I guess that's. Um, I get. I think that the the damage over time effects have a good uh, good thing there then already. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I mean, it, it really depends how they work. If they cannot kill, then that doesn't really help you. But uh, yeah, that's, that's but one then of the like, if... I didn't necessarily know. I did encounter in the tutorial that it was really difficult to kill with my DOTs. It's just I didn't suspect that it was a cannot kill situation. Yeah. But, ooh. Oh, Get I, on. I thought that I could reach the back line with my whip, but I cannot. But I was going to say, like, no, uh, the damage. Damage over time, it, it's like, it'll keep me from thinking it's a good idea to heal if I'm just going to keep on getting death death doored and the percentage keeps mm -hmm. going up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Could not, could not uh, commit the pull there. 
So what is the difference between days? Cannot out before allies who are not days. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> so it's kind of like a pseudo stun. Yeah, it's like a... Like giving them more speed. Yeah. Is it your... Oh, it's your turn. Oh, it's your turn. I was like, why am I not going? Oh, it's... it's the... Oh, it is my turn? Yes, up in the upper right. Yes, yes, yes. It will pass if uh -oh. you don't. If you, It'll pass if you don't. Well, I should have oh. acted with a different character there. Well, I mean, I think that that worked out relatively okay. Man, kill, kill, kill! We'll no! Come on! Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that no, because uh, it didn't come through on my screen until a couple seconds Oh, I guess that. we should wait a little bit to, to react, because, yeah, that happened with me, too. Please, no. Please. There are misses, yes, too, one. aren't they? Oh, Justice Tom, no! How dare you do that to Justice Tom? Oh, boy. All right, all right. Make sure not to celebrate early when you do this. The buffoon is flummoxed? Is that? It says oh. that when I take too long. That sucked. <laughs> you dodged. Oh, Great. did it auto take your turn for you there? No, it didn't auto take. I just, I attacked, but you just dodged it. Oh. Nice. Which just can happen. There's like, I, there is definitely, there's RNG in darkest dungeon. Fine. I mean, oh, I mean, oh, 100%. oh, I mean, oh, wait. Oh, finally. There we go. Hey. Did it happen? Yeah. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I, it's, it's still pretty close. My, I mean, uh, Justice Tom is effectively dead, which is my uh, crusader. I guess since you can't. Yay! <laughs> mm-hmm. Still alive. Let's see uh, when you take your turn if you survive both the DOTs on you. I will. I'm gonna guess you will. I don't think it. I don't think you can be killed by them. I'm pretty sure you. Yeah, can. they also do not appear to lower your death blow resistance. So uh. So there's not even I that. You can. I will give. Yeah, no, I know you said you weren't gonna change out your team. I give you permission to now with, with this newfound knowledge. Yeah, I might. I might, <laughs> based on the whole DRT doesn't do anything situation, I might, uh, might want to do that. It seems like they, did they make it so it does like a little bit more damage than normal, but it do, it can't kill? I guess it, like, it does seem like it would be really strong, I guess. Yeah, you... it, it does seem like that might have been the case here. Which, ugh, dang it. Dang it! What, ooh, slam, I thought I was going to get spat at. I don't think I have. Is that a, is that a move that you can do while you're in the transformed form, or or no? Oh no, it's not. You're right. You're right. You're right. Mm. Rip. Rip. Do you have a yeah, favorite? A do you have a favorite class from the base game? Just like playing the normal no. single player. Not really. I kind of just go back and forth. Uh, like, you know, things will beat. Oh, God, you're not even going to get a poison DOT from that. Ugh. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I don't know. It seems like it's super important to to not lose a unit, like, more units than your other, like, obviously. But since you can heal and that puts you off of death's door... It mm -hmm. seems really, like, extra important. Yeah, the Inspiring Cry as well, which is the stress heal that Murphy's Paradox, the Crusader on my team has, uh, it doesn't heal. It usually does. The thing is, oh. it also gives you one to two health so that you can put people off of death's door. It doesn't it at the doesn't. moment. It doesn't. That's weird. Mm. Oh. Goodbye. Who do you think you're gonna? Nope. Who are you gonna take out? Are you gonna take out the jester, or are you gonna just gonna change up the attacks? Oh, the jester has to be changed entirely. Entirely. Yeah, I, I like the idea of going for like a party buffing situation as well as having the jester there for the finisher. But if the jester isn't doing any finishing, yeah, the jester's not doing anything. The the harvest it would be amazing if it functioned. Oh, look at you though, Mr. Jester. Hmm. I mean, Goodbye, Mr. Jester. Goodbye, Mr. Jester. But for real now. 
No, Mr. Jester, I expect you to die. <laughs> the corpses are genuinely terrifying here, I gotta say. Oh, yeah, 100%. They, like, there's something about, you know, you see the ones in the game for the enemies, but then when you see them of the heroes, like, it's, it's just terrifying for me. Yeah, the, uh, I'm very glad neither of us brought a hound master into this match, because... I... I have, it on, I have it on good authority, the dog does not die. The dog does not die, but that's so sad. Yes. The dog is just standing uh... vigil over the corpse of the Houndmaster, and it is... Oh, breaks my heart. It's it's sad. It's it's rough. And I, I'll admit, I kind of wanted a Houndmaster in this. And then I saw that, and I was like, I don't know if I can look at that. Mm. Like, the whole time. Yeah, would not be a great experience. So if we do ever run Hound Masters, we have to guarantee that we will kill the Hound Master yes. last. Obviously the only way to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I here's the here's the interesting thing about about RNG. It's it's mm. it is really unlikely at this point, but with the right dice roll, like you probably could still take it. And in a way that Theoretically. It's it's up. wild to think, but watch it happen. It's not. I mean, it's not. Gonna, it's not gonna. But like, it could happen, and that is that is a that is a thing in the in favor of it. Also, now that you're in in the front two positions, the uh, arbalist sniper shots no longer sucks. coming out. Yeah. Oh, oh, one HP. Best place mm -hmm. to be right now. I mean, well, one HP is all you need. Yeah, one HP, or if you got more than zero, you got enough, right? Yep. Just the only HP point that matters. <laughs> got him. Ooh, the sound effects are Big so chunk of damage. so satisfying in this. Yep. <clears throat> Can I? My long game is I'm just trying to wait until you get stressed out and see if that helps me at all. No, okay, it transformed back. I mean, I sh I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't have. I don't, I'm not trying to BM you with that. I was. I thought. No, no, you can just stand there and absolution every turn, and there will be nothing I can I, do. I thought. I thought. That, <laughs> I thought that I had an attack that could hit in the front. I thought that the the bile or whatever the uh, beast bile. Uh -huh. Uh, that does poison. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. They shouldn't all say <laughs> it. It's not relevant to everyone. They shouldn't all say I it. I know. It's weird, but they have been saying it consistently. Sir, it's never made sense until this moment. Sir, I'm already dazed. Just hit you with bolus. I'll hit you with bolus forever. Well, you per <laughs> perma-stunned my front line. I'll hit, I'll hit you with a tool used to trap until you die. Oh, no. Wait. Can I even do it from the second position? I'm hoping not. I I can. You can. Sorry. You can, yeah. I'm sorry. You just can just. But not if I stun you. That's true. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> now I have to take my turn as this guy. Wait! I'm out of transformed. <laughs> yep. It's okay. <laughs> I'll stun you. <laughs> Slap. Slap. Get slapped. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I, this is where I start my career as a uh, professional uh, circus. What's this called? <laughs> I should know. I'm a professional, professional circus slapper. You gonna I'm gonna slap be... some circus? Huh? No, I've already been a professional circus slapper. I want to be a professional in uh, the butcher's circus. <laughs> right. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. I understand how those are different now. I think it's yeah. Yeah. It's your turn again. I'm and sorry. Bola, you can it. Sorry. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. you I feel a little bad since, since uh, I think it had a lot to do with the fact that you had no idea how how damage over time works. No, I this, mean, there's only this. one way to find out, right? It's true. The razor pin for extra accuracy and bleed skill chance on the Hellion. But uh, somehow I feel like I'm probably not going to necessarily want to run the Hellion. Uh, so, how do you think we're going to do this? Are we going to do these in uh, two fight episodes or individual kind of episodes? How's it going to go? What? That is a great question that we can figure out in the next episode. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I guess that's, that's... Okay. We can use this as a little bit of a, a demonstrator of what this is going to be, the kind of format for the series, as both of us are going to go away, figure out a party, come back together, fight those parties together, have an episode of doing so, go away, do it again, rinse and repeat, have fun, it's going to be a good time. Absolutely. If you got ideas for uh, for builds or things that you'd like to see us uh, slap each other with, I mean, that could be a fun thing to do too. Uh, potentially in the comments if you yeah. got any ideas feel free to leave those in the comment section down below again there are all the links that you are looking for for previous series on this game past present and future as well as a link to the person that i am currently working with rito retromation yeah uh, rito start of a new series that uh, reaches a different subsect of people than necessarily all of my series do what are you doing in the channel at the moment what are you doing I thought you'd never ask, except I assumed you might. So I play uh, roguelikes and more. I play most, I guess, mostly action ones, but I like all freaking kinds. Uh, you know, I'm, I am, and as I'm sure Rhapsody will probably be playing Darkest Dungeon 2 when it comes out for sure. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely oh, for yes. sure. What do you do, Rhapsody? Who are you and what, <laughs> and what do you do and where? And why? I, I, uh, my, my name is Rhapsody. I do things on rhapsody.tv.twitch.com. slash com. And, sorry? I don't believe you. Why are you lying uh, to these people? Some of, we've just I met some of them, and you're videos. lying already. We've just you met some. Rhapsody.com slash user slash retromation. That's where I learned my video. I, okay. Um, I, my name is Rhapsody. I, I do a lot of stuff on the internet. A large amount of them happen to, at the moment, be deck building roguelikes. Although I like roguelikes of all kinds, including action roguelikes. <laughs> I feel like I have the reverse pitch yes, to you, effectively. Absolutely. I promise I, <laughs> I like deck builders drop. too. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you can find those over at youtube.com slash rhapsodyplays and twitch.tv slash rhapsodyplays. Alright. But uh, yeah, this has been a good time. That is the uh, Darkest Dungeon, The Butcher's Circus, PvP DLC, first episode done. We will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.